one of the things that KC uh, at, at its apex was, uh, had a significant economic impact on, on Knoxville. Uh, I mean, probably uh, there hadn't been much uh, said about it. I mean, the institutions I've served, we always talk about our economic impact in the communities. Uh, and we have a modest one now. I mean, even, even as small as we are, anytime you have students and you have faculty and you have salary, you have an economic impact. But that economic impact, of course, will, will increase. Uh, so our educational impact, our service impact, and our economic impact, uh, I think certainly in the next five years uh, will, uh, will be felt uh, uh, in, the, in the Knoxville community. <laughs> I can go to my teacher, even if it's not about that subject, what he teaches, he'll still help me out with my homework or he can put me in the right place with the right people. They can't help me out with my work if I need the help, but the teachers here are good. They're focused and they're here for the students. A lot of teachers here teach here part-time. They have a full-time job somewhere else. They get paid less to nothing working here, but everything's good with the teachers here at the school. You know, certainly, you know, we three years we expect to be accredited. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, once we, once we apply for accreditation, uh, we probably, it's probably a, about a two-year period after that, but so that so it, we, we expect to have that accreditation. Mm -hmm. That gives us uh, other opportunities, as, as I said before, uh, both with respect to uh, uh, students and and, uh, and revenues. And so we will um, uh, the campus will be uh, stronger with respect to uh, its infrastructure again with buildings and technology. Uh, we will grow the enrollments, uh, and along with that, our faculty will increase. And just think back. I mean, re really, if you, th you really think on it, the, the impact that the campus has had, um, and 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 understand the impact that it can have in addressing real challenges and needs of the community. They they are there. Um, and uh, Knoxville can can be one, you know you know part of the solution to addressing those challenges, and it and it, and it can and will be as, as you know as it as it revi as it becomes revitalized. Uh, so the Knoxville community has a vested interest in in seeing Knoxville College revitalized. Because there are, there is a role that if we don't play, play it, it will probably not be, you know, not to be played, and certainly not to the extent that it needs to be. I mean, uh, there are challenges that that are not being addressed, and, 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 it's, and we need all the uh, uh, all the resources, the education institutions, we can address in those issues. So it's it's uh, it's not like uh, everything that's, that that the city of Knoxville needs with respect to education is, is taking place, and they, everybody knows that's not. Um, and so there there are areas that I think we're, we're better situated to address than, than historically, um, you know, than, than any other institution there. I mean, since the president's been here, I've seen a lot of campus upgrades like we just got our administration building painted around the windows we got new windows put in we said something that we needed done we had a couple of campus cleanup days where we planted some more flowers down by the by the entrance way we painted the light post put new parking spots on campus just made campus more presentable so and when people come in that they would not look down on Knoxville College for how it looks but, I mean, there's still more that needs to be done. Everything can't be done at one time. But the president does have a to-do list of what he wants done and the order in which it needs to be done. So, I mean, he he has us pointed in the right direction. He has us on a good foot. We're stepping out, and we're going to win that race.